with some good sleep. How nice it is to enjoy the sunrise all by my... Good. You're finally awake. Ah! Who's that? Oh no, I'm falling. Oh no, I'm emoting! Calm. Wait! No! That hurt. You're telling me? Do you normally start your day by startling people out of trees? Not normally, no. Sorry, but I couldn't wait. Couldn't wait? It's so early. You must have stayed up all night. Huh, I suppose I did. How unusual. That's what happens when you get carried away with research. Then I remembered what we talked about, so I've been waiting here for you to wake up. Well, here I am, wide awake. How can I help you? I found an interesting document about St. Timotheus. There are some fascinating things down in that place you and your buddies call home. Timotheus? That's... The saint whose major crest you bear. His bloodline was believed to have died out a thousand years ago. It's theorized that your crest and the crest of Lamine have similar powers. Oh, Lamine was one of the ten elites. Here's the best part. Turns out this Timotheus guy had the power to summon beasts. I'm listening. Take a look at this passage. The writing's kind of antiquated, but at least it's legible. Saint Timotheus could converse fluently with birds and land-born beasts, and he considered these creatures his friends. He sometimes rode over hills atop an obliging deer, or called wolves to encircle him in battle. His sigh, inflected with the power of the Nightbringer's star, was immensely sonorous. Nice recitation. So, there you go. That's just how people from my village write. Is that... So, huh. Anyway, this obviously reminded me of you and your situation. You clearly have this same astral power, but to an excessive degree. And for some reason, it only manifests for you when you sigh. Does that mean you can fix it? Oh, goodness, no. Or I should say, it's unlikely. There's next to no documentation about this stuff. And I don't know nearly enough about the other crests either. And Timotheus? Again, nothing to go on. It's near impossible to unravel, so don't get your hopes up. <laughs> you know me. I'm good at keeping my expectations nice and low.